Fun Facts presents the 1956 Packard Caribbean Convertible. This is a 50s classic car and it was the first generation from 1953 through 1956. I am excited. I hope you're excited and let's get started now. The Packard Caribbean is a full-sized luxury car that was made by the Packard Motor Company of Detroit, Michigan during model years 1953 through 56. Some of the Caribbean styling was derived from the Pan American Packard show car of the previous year, available only as a convertible from 1953 until 1955 with a hardtop model added in its final year of 1956. The domestic big three automakers were developing quasi-custom models. Marketers at the time described them as sports cars, which usually meant anything with a convertible top, lots of performance, a few unique styling touches, and top-of-the-line price tag. The image of Packard automobiles during the early 1950s was perceived as stodgy and old-fashioned. Packard needed a halo car to cast the modern glow on the marquee. The company prepared a concept car, the Pan American Packard, earning positive reception at auto shows during 1952. The Caribbean was introduced for the 1953 model year as Packard's sportiest car based on the standard Cavalier convertible which custom touches transforming it into a line topping stunner. The 1953 Caribbean was perhaps Packard's most easily identified car because of its full cutout rear wheel housing and side trim. Limited to a chrome band outline the stretch the car's entire length. The band also helped to further delineate the car's wheel openings. A steel continental spare tire was also standard. The hood featured a broad low leaded in hood scoop. Bodies for the Caribbean were modified by Mitchell Bentley Corporation. Available advertised colors for the car were limited to Polaris Blue, Golf Green Metallic, Maroon Metallic, and Sahara Sand. However, a mere handful of special ordered cars were built in ivory or black. Interiors of the Caribbean were richly upholstered in leather. Most Caribbeans were also generously optioned, although the Ultramatic transmission was optional on the first year model at a US $199. At a list of optional equipment on other Packard vehicles was standard. On the Caribbean that included heater and windshield defroster, power windows, power adjustable front seat, power steering, and easematic power brakes. Only the sing signal seeking radio with antenna and Solex tinted glass were extra cost items. A total of 750 Caribbeans were built for the first model year and these cars are highly sought after as collectible cars in the current collectible automobile market. Restored cars regularly sell in the six-figure ranges. The listed retail price for the Caribbean convertible was $5,210. Beginning in 1954, the Caribbean was elevated to senior Packard status. The Caribbean continued to have its own unique styling features. However, the full rear wheel cutouts were eliminated and the use of chrome stainless trim became more liberal and allowed for a two-tone paint combinations. A four-way power seat was available. Like the Patrician, the Caribbean also gained heavier, fine headlight housings, 
one of the visual cues applied to help differentiate the senior Packards from the lower priced models. The 359 cubic inch straight eight senior engine was used in the final incarnation of Packard's straight eight engine. A total of 400 Caribbeans were produced for the model year, making 1954 the rarest year of the Caribbean. The listed retail price increased to 6,100 US dollars and in conversion to 2022, that would be $61,552. My goodness, that's not cheap. Okay, the 1955 model year saw the Caribbean line now with an all new Packard developed V8 engine. Fully adopt the senior Packard line styling, the car was also available in two or three tone paint patterns. Designer Richard Teague succeeded in restyling the old Packard senior body into a modern looking design. The single hood scoop was split into two units and the car also received Packard's torsion level torsion bar suspension at all four wheels. Production for 1955 increased substantially at 9,127 units with a listed retail price of $5,932. In 1956, the model year of the Caribbean was designated as a separate luxury series and added a hard top model. Trim differences between the 1955 and 1956 cars were slight. Grill textures changed to match the ones used on concurrent patricians and the rear treatment. Featuring Packard's cathedral style taillights was continued. The headlights also received slightly more exaggerated brows. Unique new interiors featured reversible seat cushions with cloth on one side and leather on the other. The total model year production equaled 263 hardtops. 276 convertibles with the convertible listed at $5,995. The model was discontinued when Packard production ended in Detroit. Well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to view our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of the cars from the 50s. We'll be doing a lot of the cars from the 60s, especially the muscle cars. We'll be then doing all of the sports cars from the 50s and the 60s. We'll be getting into doing trucks, I think, just in a little bit. We'll be doing, from the 50s and the 60s, we'll be doing, uh, yeah, I just love the, the body style for the, the trucks back then, the American trucks. We'll be doing the uh, hybrid cars and the sports cars later into uh, productions. We'll be doing car shows and autoramas, so we'll be featuring hot rods and custom cars. So there will be a little bit of everything for everybody. And we hope to see you when we upload our next video. And always, always, always. Take good care. Thank you.